Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Humanity has been exploring space since the 1950s. However, in recent years, we've been accustomed to sending out machines to do the work. But that may be about to change. Today, we're going to be looking at the Artemis program, and especially Artemis 1. The Artemis program is a human spaceflight program led by NASA to explore the moon, aiming for its first touchdown on the lunar south pole by 2024. If successful, the Artemis program will perform the first crewed lunar landing mission since Apollo 17 in December 1972, the final crewed expedition of the Apollo program. Named after the goddess of the moon in Greek mythology and the twin sister of Apollo, the program is expected to be a multinational collaborative project between governmental space agencies and private spaceflight companies. The Artemis program began in December of 2017 as part of successive efforts to revitalize the US space program. NASA's stated short-term goal for the program is landing the first woman and first person of color on the moon. Mid-term objectives include establishing an international expedition team and a sustainable human presence on the moon. Long-term objectives for Artemis are laying the foundations for the extraction of lunar resources and eventually making crewed missions to Mars and beyond feasible. The Artemis program is carried out predominantly by NASA and US commercial spaceflight contractors in partnership with the European Space Agency and the space agencies of several other nations. Other countries have been invited to join the program through signing the governing Artemis Accords, which have remained open for signature since October 2020. The Artemis program is organized around a series of Space Launch System or SLS missions. These space missions will increase in complexity and are scheduled to occur at intervals of a year or more. NASA and its partners have planned Artemis 1 through Artemis 5 missions. Later Artemis missions have also been proposed. Each SLS mission centers on the launch of an SLS booster carrying an Orion spacecraft. Missions after Artemis II will depend on support missions launched by other organizations and spacecraft for support functions. Artemis I in 2022 will be an uncrewed test of the SLS and Orion and is the first test flight for both craft. Artemis II in 2024 will be the first crewed test flight of the SLS and the Orion spacecraft. The four crew members will perform extensive testing in Earth orbit and Orion will then be boosted into a free return trajectory around the moon, which will return Orion back to Earth for re-entry and splashdown. Artemis 3 in 2025 will be a crewed lunar landing. SLS slash Orion will send the Orion spacecraft with a crew of four, which is intended to include the first woman and the first person of color to land on the moon. Artemis 4 in 2027 is a crewed mission to the Lunar Gateway Station in near rectilinear halo orbit or NRHO. Artemis 5 through Artemis 8 and beyond are proposed to land astronauts on the lunar surface, 
where they will take advantage of increasing amounts of infrastructure that are to be landed by support missions. These will include habitats, rovers, scientific instruments, and resource extraction equipment. Support missions include robotic landers, delivery of gateway modules, gateway logistics, delivery of the human landing system, and delivery of elements of the moon base. Most of these missions are executed under NASA contracts to commercial providers. As of the early mission concepts outlined by NASA in May 2020 and refined by the HLS Contract Award in July 2021, launch vehicles planned to be used will include the NASA Space Launch System for Orion, SpaceX's Starship for the HLS, and SpaceX's Falcon Heavy for Gateway Components, as well as launch vehicles that are contracted for the various commercial cargo providers. The European Ariane 6 was also proposed to be a part of the program in July 2019. Artemis 1 is a planned uncrewed test flight for NASA's Artemis program. It is the first flight of the agency's Space Launch System, or SLS, Super Heavy Lift Launch Vehicle, and the first flight of the full Orion spacecraft. Artemis 1 is currently scheduled to launch on the 29th of August, 2022. Formerly known as Exploration Mission No. 1, the mission was renamed following the creation of the Artemis program. The mission will lift off from Launch Complex 39B at the Kennedy Space Center and will see an Orion spacecraft launched on a mission of between 26 and 42 days, with at least six of those days in a distant retrograde orbit around the Moon. The mission will certify Orion and the Space Launch System for crewed flights beginning with Artemis 2. The Orion spacecraft for Artemis 1 was stacked on the 20th of October 2021, marking the first time a super heavy lift vehicle has been stacked inside the Vehicle Assembly Building or VAB since the final Saturn V rocket with Skylab. The fully stacked vehicle was rolled out for launch on 17th of August 2022. Artemis 1 will be launched on the Block 1 variant of the Space Launch System. The Block 1 first stage consists of a core stage and two five-segment solid rocket boosters. The core stage uses four RS-25D engines, all of which have previously flown on Space Shuttle missions. The core and boosters together produce 39,000 kilonewtons of thrust at liftoff. The upper stage, known as the Interim Cryogenic Propulsion Stage, or ICPS, is based on the Delta Cryogenic Second Stage and is powered by a single RL-10B2 engine. Once in orbit, the ICPS will perform a translunar injection burn, which will place the Orion spacecraft and 10 CubeSats on a trajectory to the Moon. Orion will then separate from the ICPS and coast to lunar space. Following Orion separation, the ICPS stage adapter will deploy 10 CubeSats that will do scientific research and perform technology demonstrations. Originally, the mission was planned to follow a circumlunar trajectory without entering orbit around the Moon. However, current plans have the Orion spacecraft spend approximately three weeks in space, including six days in a distant retrograde orbit around the Moon. Artemis 1 will carry a mannequin called Captain Munikin Campos, which was named after Arturo Campos, an engineer who played a major role 
in resolving the emergency that occurred during the Apollo 13 mission. This mannequin will be alongside NASA's Snoopy and the ESA's Sean the Sheep. The mannequin will be equipped with radiation sensors and its seat will contain acceleration and vibration measurement instruments. And that concludes this episode regarding Artemis 1. It is interesting to see how humanity has evolved its space research. To learn more about such educational content, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Brain Blitz Audios. You can also press the bell icon present below the video to get the latest updates from our channel. So until the next webisode, take care, stay safe, bye bye for now.